Illuminated by firelight, a spiritual dance begins. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. In this conflagration, bonds between warriors are forged. They crystallize together into the pillars of today. Pillars with the strength to slay demons. Even so, the fires of conflict rage on, demons against humans. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. Within the blaze, Burns a young man's determination. Too slow. <laughs> Sabito's movements are so calculated. If I don't focus, he'll just keep deflecting. Tanjiro Kamado. You were once so pitiful, but look at you now. You finally learned proper breathing techniques. You've swung your sword thousands of times, even as your arms were screaming in pain. No matter how many times I knocked you down, you got back up and challenged me again. That shows true strength. The fact that I am facing you with a real sword this time proves it. We finish this tonight. Summon every ounce of determination you can muster. I won't be holding back, and neither should you. Now come! Let's go! <laughs> You're mine! Oh? You were able to handle that? Not bad. I need to use the skills or Okodaki taught me to take down Sabito! Come on, Tanjiro! You can do this! Wonderful faces! So you can fight. You have good control. There. That's it. Summon everything I'm capable of! I can't hold anything back! I will not yield! This will end it! Splendid. This will end it! This will end it! Water breathing! Transform! Constant flux! You've grown strong. There you go. I'm coming up for you! There! Too slow! You lack resolve. Remember what Uro Kodaki taught you! Move your legs. Don't stop now! If you call yourself a man, then do it! Unless you plan to lie down and die, there's nowhere else to go but forward! Now get up! Grab your sword and face me again! If you can cut this boulder in two, I'll allow you to enter final selection. <clears throat> the boulder... To cut it, I need to defeat Sabito. But no matter how many times we fight... <clears throat> Why? Where did I go wrong? How 
did things turn out this way? I was just living my life day by day. Doing honest work with my family. We were poor. But we had a nice meal in town once in a while. We... We're so happy. Whenever happiness is destroyed, you'll find the smell of blood in the air. In that awful day. The one night I didn't come home. Mom, my siblings, they all died. They were attacked by a demon. And that was it. It must have been painful. You suffered, didn't you? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I... I'm sorry. But you're suffering too, aren't you, Tanjiro? Get up. You don't need to suffer alone. I'm here too. Together, you and I can overcome this sadness. Don't you think? That's right. I can't forget that we still have each other. Nezuko. That night, your humanity was torn away from you. But you still managed to hold on to one important thing. Your own life. Sabito's right. Go forward. There's nowhere else to go! I'll find a way to make Nezuko human again. I'll avenge my whole family! I made my decision when I picked up the sword! Now! Tanjiro! Finally. You've grown into a real man. If I gave up now, Nezuko would never go back to normal. Besides, Orokodaki has done so much for me. And I can't waste Makomo's training! Today's the day. I will defeat you! Let's go! Show me what you can do! Let's try- Try me. Blood flowing through your body. Soon, you'll know how strong you've truly become. Will you fall to the ground once again? Or will you finally come out on top? Show me! <laughs> Don't leave yourself open! If I were a demon, I'd have killed you already! Sabato's right. When things get tough, I have to stay calm. It's time to finish this, Tanjiro! He's doing it. In that case... Total concentration! Water, Water breathing. breathing. Fourth form! Striking time! A tie? Wait. No. Tanjiro is... There! The opening thread! Faster! Keep 
winning, Tanjiro. You must defeat him. <gasps> the boulder. Where are Sabito and Makomo? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think you would actually do it. Hmm. <laughs> to be honest, I never had any intention of sending you to final selection. I couldn't bear to see any more children die. I was sure you wouldn't be able to cut through this boulder, but... Well done, my boy. Truly remarkable. I am proud, you know. Make sure you come back alive from final selection. Your sister and I will be waiting for you. Within the blaze burns a young man's determination. And with this in his heart, he walks the path of a demon slayer. Done. Hmm, looks good. Thanks. Dinner's... Oh, thank you. I I'm sorry, I could have made the food. It's nothing. It's the least I could do. <sighs> thank you for the meal. The time has come. Right. Final selection is at Mount Fujikasan. I've been there a few times, but it's a very strange place. How so? It is something you'll have to see for yourself. I'm sure it'll surprise you, too. I see. What's this? It is called a warding mask. It is enchanted with a protection spell to keep you from harm. Take it with you. Got it. Thank you. This is all that I can do for you now. The rest is up to you, Tanjiro. Make sure you are well rested. I still don't know why Tomioka didn't slay Nezuko, or why he told me about her Okodaki. But it's thanks to him that we're here now. 
If I join the Demon Slayer Corps, I'm bound to learn more about demons. Either way, it seems like my best shot at figuring out how to turn Nezuko back into a human. But to do that, first I have to pass final selection. Nezuko. She's been sleeping since we got to Urokodaki's place. The doctor didn't find anything wrong with her, but it's not normal for her to be asleep this long. I'm worried she'll just never wake up. You're gonna be okay. Right, Nezuko? I'm going to go out for a bit, but I'll be back soon, alright? Be a good girl now. Don't worry about your sister. I'll take good care of her for you. Thanks. You have a keen nose like me, Tanjiro. Perhaps it will be the key to your survival during final selection. My nose? You must sharpen your sense of smell and sniff out the dangers around you. I know you can do it. Just be sure to come back alive. Right. Guess I'm off. See you later. What's this? Huh? Okay. Say hi to Sabito and Makomo! Tonjo, that's impossible. How do you know the names of the dead? So this is Mount Fujikasane. Wisteria? It's all over the place. I thought it was out of season. So many people. Good evening. Good evening. Tonight you've come to enter the Demon Slayer Corps' final selection. Thank you all for being here. Here on Mount Fujikasane, there are several demons that have been captured by Demon Slayer swordsmen. They're kept here for this event. The Wisteria Blossoms prevent them from escaping. They bloom on this mountain year-round, covering everything from the base 
to halfway up the top. But the wisteria ends here. Demons abound from this point on. And they're very hungry. In order to complete final selection, you must survive for seven days beyond the wisteria's protection. Now, your trial begins. Okay, there are demons waiting from this point on. There are demons lurking here. Don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. The entrance of the mountain was covered in wisteria. It was beautiful and completely different from here. What a strange place. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> there are scents coming from all directions now. Fear, adrenaline, and demons. Haven't tasted human flesh in forever! Two already. Will I be able to take them on? Here goes! <laughs> I can't go away! That was nothing! Stay focused. Come on! My out. mouth's watery! <laughs> Let's try that again! <laughs> no way! That was nothing! Bastards faster than I thought! I can see the demons' movements! And if I can see their movements, I can take them down no problem! Another one! Stay focused. <laughs> 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 I did it. I killed demons. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. So my training wasn't for nothing. I did master it. Rest in peace.
All right, time to move on. Excuse me. Further, I'll have to find a different way. What the? What's that awful smell? Excuse me. What? Uh -huh. huh? Is that? their movements. All I have to do is remember my training. No way! Let's try That was nothing! Stay up and smell it! The opening threat! Are you okay? What? What the hell was that? Was it a demon? He doesn't look too badly hurt. Some weirdo came out of nowhere and attacked me. He was shouting about something, but I couldn't tell what. He's right. There's a strange smell in the air. It isn't a demon. It smells similar to a human. But also like in... What? That man with the strange scent is somewhere on this mountain. Gotta stay alert. I smell blood. Come at me! 
Another participant? He seems awfully nervous about something. Was just the wind. There are so many kinds of people here. Okay. This tree was knocked over. I can use this. scent is growing stronger. I smell blood. Hmm. 
There's something nearby. I wonder if it's a participant. He's another one of the participants in final selection. Excuse me. Get the hell out of my face! Oh, okay. Okay. What's this? I can smell blood up ahead. I wonder what happened. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you. You saved me. What's your name? What? What? What a strange girl. Okay. My heart's beating faster. The pressure around here must be getting heavier. Don't lose focus. Concentrate. Come on, get a grip, Tanjiro! What the? I can smell blood up ahead. I wonder what happened. Uh. Are these handprints? So big. All the trees around here have been knocked over, too. Huh? Ugh. <sighs> 
This smell's getting stronger. I must be getting close. It's one of my sweet little fox cubs. It's humongous. Say, fox cub, what year of the Meiji era is it? Huh? It's the Taisho period. Taisho? <sighs> I'm stuck inside this Wisteria prison! Ah! Unforgivable! Unforgivable! Damn you, Urokodaki! Damn you, damn you, damn you! You know Urokodaki? Of course I do! Urokodaki's the one who captured and brought me here! <laughs> I promised myself I'd kill every single one of them! You know, the ones who stood out to me the most were those two. The boy's hair was an unusual shade of pink, a scar by his mouth. He was the most powerful of the lot. The other was a girl who wore a flowery kimono. Small, not much power, but awfully agile. Could it be? Those two were killed by this demon? But how? I trained with them. Your mask. That's what gives you away as one of Urokodaki's brats. Easy to spot the texture of one of the masks he's got. He calls them warning masks, right? Except that's how I pick out who to eat. They're all inside my belly. It says if he guided them to their death. We're the one that killed Sabito and Makomo! If you're going to blame someone, blame Buro Kodaki. He's the one who trapped me in here. No, what you've done is unforgivable! Stay focused. Amateur. Yeah! Let's try the come at me! Stay focused. Hold it! This isn't just for Sabito and Makomo! I'm going to avenge every life that you've taken! <laughs> I fought many who said the same! But none have yet to survive! You're just going to be one more in my belly! Waterfall face it! Oh. There! Not good enough! Shigeru's voice. If I didn't, it surely would have been the end of me. Thank you, Shigeru. I won't be helpless again. <laughs> Struggling won't do you any good. His body's getting bigger. Really the one who trained you? 
You're so much weaker than all the other ones I've eaten. I'm coming after you. That was nothing. Hold it. Sabito. Makomo. You two have helped me become stronger. You give me the strength I need to survive. And that's why I won't lose. Not to this demon! Let's try- I'm coming! Amateur! What a wheel! That was nothing! Hold it! Up you go! Come at me! Here it comes! Right, left. Is he trying to confuse me? The small ones are always so hard to deal with. Running around like chickens with their heads cut off. But it's no use! I'm bigger and stronger than you'll ever be! My neck is as thick as a tree! <laughs> I will not yield! Slayer's the last thing I'm ever going to see! What a sad scent.
to Urokodaki. Only four of us? We started with over twenty. I'm gonna die. I'm done for. I've survived for now, but soon enough, dead. Welcome, Welcome back, back, everyone. And congratulations. We are pleased to see you're safe. So? I made it back alive. What do I do now? Where's my sword? Patience. We must first issue you all uniforms. We will first take your measurements, and then you will be imprinted with your rank. There are ten ranks in all, from Kinoe to Mizunoto. You all start at Mizunoto. This is the lowest rank in the Demon Slayer Corps. And our swords? In a moment, you will be given the chance to select the ore that will be used to forge your swords. Your weapons will be ready for you 10 to 15 days later. But for... Now that you're demon slayers, you must each be assigned your own Kasugai Crow. The Kasugai Crows are primarily used to facilitate communication Wait, crows? Isn't this a sparrow? Who the hell cares about some stupid crow? I want my sword right now. Give it to me before I get angry. The color changing katana. I want it now, do you hear me? Stop that! Take. Huh? Who the hell are you? Give it your best shot! Yeah! <laughs> You little... Are you finished chatting with each other? Now, the time has come. Please select an ore to use for your sword. <sighs> the steel you will use to protect yourself, and to annihilate countless demons, will be that of your own choosing. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway. Probably. They want us to choose, but how are we supposed to know which one to pick? I don't have a damn clue. Really? Five of them were able to survive. That's excellent. The number of my children continues to grow. What kinds of swordsmen will they be? Just when I thought I could finally go back, my body is aching. The fatigue is hitting me all at once. Nezuko, Rokodaki. Nezuko, it's you. You're awake! Uh. Nezuko! <laughs> Nezuko! <laughs> Why'd you do that? Why'd you have to sleep for so long? I thought you were never gonna wake up! I was afraid that you were gonna die!
You're here. You came back alive. Hi there. My name is Haganezka. I forged Tanjiro Komodo's sword. Oh! I'm Tanjiro Komodo. Come in! In here is a Nichirin sword. I forged it myself. Um, do you want to come in? Have some... The materials for this kind of sword only come from the mountain closest to the sun. Made of scarlet, iron sand, and scarlet ore. Hey, um, you're welcome to... Unique. They produce steel that can absorb sunlight. Wow, really? Please, come in. You see, Mount Yoko is bathed in sunlight all day. Never a cloud in the sky. No rain means the sunlight can be absorbed without any impurities. Whoa! A clown mask? Did he even hear me? The man still refuses to listen to a word anyone else says. Mm. Hey, you're a child of brightness, aren't you? Uh, my parents' names were Tanjiro and Kie. That's not what I mean. You know how your hair and eyes have a reddish hue to them. When a family that works with fire has a child like you, it's considered lucky. A cause for celebration. Is it really? I had no idea. That means there's a good chance this sword will turn red. Right, Durokodaki? Yes. Come on, draw it already. Nichirin swords are also referred to as color-changing katanas. Their color shifts depending on the bearer. Black? That's interesting. Why? Does it mean something bad? Is it- No, no. It's just something you don't see very often. It's pitch black. I was really hoping I'd get to see a sword turn bright red! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, let go! Stop, please! Ow! How old are you anyway? <laughs> Damn it! Why? Ah, hey! Please, just calm down! Oh. Anjiro Kamado, I bring you orders! You must go to a town northwest of here! It can talk? This is your first assignment as a member of the Demon Slayer Corps! Prepare yourself well! Wait a second, did it say assignment? In that town to the northwest, young girls are disappearing! Night after night, at least one of them vanishes! This is the Demon Slayer uniform I was provided. It's a perfect fit. Okay, then.
That uniform is made with a special kind of fiber. It's lightweight, water-resistant, non-flammable. A low-level demon's fangs and talons are incapable of penetrating that fabric. What's that? You plan on traveling with Nezuko, correct? But demons perish when exposed to sunlight. That's why I'm gifting you this box, to carry her during the day. It's built from a very light wood called Cloudy Cedar. It's been coated in rock lacquer to reinforce the exterior and make it more durable, enough to withstand some abuse. Oh. Thanks, Orokodaki. By the way, Tanjiro. Yes? Since you're starting out as a demon slayer, there are some things I would like to explain. You should know, there are different kinds of demons. Some demons use a special spell called a blood demon art to give them abilities. You may end up having to face some of them in the near future as well. And fighting against supernatural abilities will be more difficult than anything you've done. However, if you defeat demons and locate their source, you could find the one who turned Nezuko into a demon one day. <sighs> There's only one demon in the entire world that has the kind of blood that can turn a human. Just one. That's it. The first demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target, the one who attacked your family. More importantly, I believe he's also the only one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. <laughs> that demon's name is... Muzan Kibutsuji. Muzan Kibutsuji. Since he's the only one who can turn humans into demons, that means... He turned Nezuko. Once someone becomes a demon, they'll attack others indiscriminately, even their own family. They can't resist the urge to satiate their hunger with common sense alone. That's what it means to be a demon. At least, that was what I thought. Until I met Nezuko. There's no question that Nezuko is a demon, but in spite of that, she's never devoured a human. Nezuko was lying on top of our brother like a shield, protecting him. She hasn't eaten anyone. I've encountered many demons in my lifetime, but never once have I heard of anything like that. The question is, how does she maintain this state? This is only a guess. But I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. Sleeping to recover her strength. Again, this is only a guess. I could be wrong. Since you are the only one at her side, you must continue to observe her. Understand? And one more thing. I don't know if this will be of any comfort or not, but while Nezuko was asleep, I used hypnotic suggestion on her. All humans are your family. Protect your family. The demons are your enemies. If a demon harms a human, never forgive them. That's what I told her. Tanjiro, I understand that you want to protect your sister, but you must keep in mind. Nezuko is a demon now. She's not a delicate flower who needs your protection. Regardless, this will be your first real mission, where you'll face a demon alone. I hope you both return safe and sound, though I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes, sir. Well, here we are. Nothing seems out of the ordinary.
But I am picking up a peculiar scent. It's faint, but unpleasant. Let's take a look around. Hmm. I don't smell anything bad around here. Huh? Is that... Excuse me! Uh-huh. Excuse me. Ah. Say thanks. Excuse me. <sighs> Many thanks. What the? Oh. Hmm. Huh? Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me? Oh, come on! Excuse me! <sighs> oh, come on! Hey, listen! Hey. There's Kazumi. Poor thing. He doesn't look good. Well, he was right next to Sadako when she was taken. Taken? That person knows one of the victims. Mr. Kazumi! I want to hear what happened last night. From you. This is where Satoko vanished, but I'm sure you don't believe me. I do believe you. I'm here to help. Now let's see. There's still a faint scent of the demon here, but it's uneven. Something's off. Who is this kid anyway? There's definitely a demon lurking in this town, but I need to find out more. Not much time left until sunset. I need to gather more information and track them down before night falls.
Excuse me. Right. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I can get down if I use that. I can just barely make it through. Huh? Is that... Excuse me. Yep. Excuse me. Pardon me.
Maybe I should get to higher ground. Okay. Excuse well Excuse me yeah. I think I can climb this Okay Excuse me. <sighs> what the? Right. Hmm. Oh no, it's night time already. I can smell the demon scent, but only slightly. The smells are all blending together. It's awful. This has to be the kidnapper. I should sort out the information I have so far. Focus. I just need to follow this scent. Excuse me. Huh? Hurry. Keep a level head, but hurry! I need to get up there to follow the scent. Excuse me! What'd you say? <sighs> Whoa! I 
I think I can get down there. Excuse me. Hmm? Uh. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Excuse me. Stay focused. Don't lose the scent. Excuse me. What? Uh. Hey there. I need to get up there to follow the scent. I should be able to get up there using this. I can get down if I use that. Excuse me. Hmm? Uh. Why, certainly. I think I can get down there. Demon is just up ahead. I'm ready. Let's end this.
There's no mistaking this smell. This is it. They're right here. I don't see them. Although... The scent is strongest, right? Here! I get it now. This demon can hide himself underground. What, what the hell is that? What did you do with the girls you kidnapped? He, he's behind all this? <laughs> oh, this scent. I knew there was another one. From the wall too? Tell me, why in the world would a demon travel with a mere human? Nezuko, can you handle this? <clears throat> they all have the exact same scent, which means one demon has split into three. Go stale! Move out of the way, you little punk! The girl's 16 already! She's losing flavor by the second! If I don't eat her soon, there won't be any left at all! Take a breath, other me. Calm down. I've already satisfied myself feasting on these town girls. Every one of them juicy and delicious. Well, I'm not satisfied at all, other me! I want to devour all of them! I need your help. Hold her for me and stay close. Uh, huh? Uh, all right. You monster! Bring Satoko back, the girl you took the other night! Satoko? Which one was that? If her hairpin is in this collection, then I'm afraid I've already eaten her. Sorry. That's... Satoko's... You... You killed... How cruel! That woman is mine! And her over! Nezuko, don't strain yourself! If it gets too dangerous, retreat! As if a mere human could defeat us! I'll tear you brats to shreds! I've never seen other humans fight the way he does. Don't be intimidated, other me! <laughs> Who would be intimidated by a mere human? I'll take pleasure in killing him. Ah! The attacks are more coordinated than expected. I can't let them be one step ahead of me. I have to predict their next move and react. You smell horrible. You give off a scent like rotten oil. I know where it comes from. Tell me, how many people have you killed? How many people have you eaten? Give me a break already! If women live too long, they turn ugly, and then they won't taste good anymore! I killed them for their own good, you know! You should be thanking us! <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> I can do it. I'll wow. use my special move. You're mine. Just face it. You're <laughs> 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 
against these three. All thanks to Nezuko's help. All right. Let's end this here! Where did the other two go? Underneath? It's dragging me under! <laughs> Nezuko! I'm going in! Keep them safe for me! <laughs> Keep them safe! She can damn well try! But that woman is mine! I'll devour her whole! <laughs> you damn traitor! Why are you teaming up with a human? Humans are weak and pathetic! Nothing more than prey! Gee, <laughs> you're impossible to understand! <laughs> Use any special abilities! There's no way I'll be beaten by a weakling! Get out of my sight! Hurry! <laughs> and die already! <laughs> I'm here! Damn it all! Hurry! And die for here! From me! Don't mess with me! I won't bleed him! This grows powerful! Get out of my sight! Although she hasn't picked up any skills, she's still so strong! He must have killed a massive amount of blood! Hurry and die, damn it all! Hurry and die! This powerful without using a blood demon art. It's absurd. Just die. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna drill a hole right through your face. Ball! Ah! Hands off my sister. What do you know about Muzan Kibutsuji? Tell me! <laughs> I, I can't tell you. I just can't. You mustn't tell a soul. No one can know anything about me, understand? Don't forget, I'm always watching you. So if you tell anyone, I will know about it. I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't tell you all right! This is bad. I 
don't know what he'll try to pull in his desperation. I need to hurry and behead him. I told you I can't you. Come at me. I told you I can't talk. Hold it. Any information? Nazuko! She's fast asleep. Probably to heal her wounds. I failed. I'm sorry. But just hang on. I promise you this. I will make you human again! Mr. Kazumi? Are you alright? I lost my fiance. How could I be all right? Mr. Kazumi, you have to go on. No matter what. In spite of losing people. Even though it's devastating. How am I supposed to do that? You're just a kid. What do you know? <sighs> I'll be on my way now. Here. <gasps> Hopefully, you'll find something of Miss Satoko's in here. are heartbreaking. Hardened and thick from training. They're not the hands of a boy. Mr. Kazumi never should have crossed paths with demons. He should have lived a quiet, peaceful life. But all of that crumbled into pieces in an instant. I'm not alone. 
How many people have you killed? Tortured? Tormented? Musan Kibutsuji. I swear. I'll make you pay. I swear!